my name is Rodney Hill, and we're going to talk a little bit now about our new result view that we have for the ICB and ITB tools. So if we dive into the software we have here, we can see on the home screen we have a little icon down here at the bottom that looks a little bit like a trace or graph. If I click on that, I can bring myself to the result view. And as soon as I do a tightening here, I will actually see the results real time come up on the screen. And there we have a tightening. I can see I had 7.08 Newton meters and an angle of 71 degrees. If I move, if I click my arrow here and move to the next page, I can see the trace of this tightening. And I can also see the values from each of the steps that made up this, this tightening program. So one of the things that's new here is I can actually see my different steps in the graph, where they start, where they stop, and then their limits for, for where the, the tightening needs to end. So I'm going to do a couple more tightenings here. And as these go by, we'll see this update as our tightenings come in. So there we have one that was 7.03, this one 7.09. And for all these, we can see the different trace values. One of the other things we have here in the new view is we have a lot of different types of traces. So if I click the arrows here, I can cycle through these. I have angle over time, torque over angle, current over time, current over angle, speed over time, speed over angle, and then we get back to our, our default view here, which is torque over time. So these are all new features that are available in, in the result view on the ICB and the ITB tools. If you're using any protocol adapters, you can click on the icon here in the top right to see the status of all those adapters. So everything looks OK here. If, I've, if I'm using one of the customer-specific protocols, I would see that connected here as well. If I'm using open protocol, I can actually see the MIDs, the last MID that the tool received. A MID is a message ID. So I can test to make sure that my tool is receiving what I'm sending from my uh, open protocol application. That's all there is to it on the result view. This is web-based. I'm showing this on a Surface Pro, but this could really run on any device that has a, a web interface. Could be a tablet or a smartphone um, or a, a thin client maybe showing it at a screen at a station for, for an operator that wants to see this view. But very, very nice view here. It's powerful and gives a lot of information about every tightening. So this has been a look at the result view on the ICB and ITB tools. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. And thanks for watching.